Um, hi. Can you please tell us your name and uh, what do you do? Um, my name is Tracy Davis and I'm a social worker um, for housing rights and I also play handball. Uh, can you tell us about the social worker that you do, uh, where you do it and what is it about? Um, so I live in San Francisco currently and the type of social work is to help people who used to be homeless maintain their housing. So it's primarily that and then it's all the different things that, you know, um, an individual would need help with to do that. So it could be coordinating medical care, issues with, you know, the landlord, things like that. How long have you been doing it? Um, as a, at my current job, four years. Um, but I've done social work in different fields for about the last 13 years. How do you like it? Um, I like it because there's things about it that I enjoy, like problem solving, um, building relationships with people, seeing how you can support someone and, and help them with change, whether it's difficult, whether it's good or bad, and just um, there's so many different things to it that I, I don't necessarily get bored. Um, what I don't like about it is that it takes a lot of your mental, emotional, and physical space to help other people. And so, burnout is really easy. And then you're like, like right now, I'd like to get out of the social work field, but for the time being, I'm still doing it. Kind of over. Oh, uh, then can we talk about the way you're getting out of the out of the field and about the the, the handball? Uh, um, so about so my handball life or career. Um, yeah, this is when I used to live in Brooklyn. I used to come down here and play and practice all the time. Um, Since I've moved away, obviously I don't have access to this place as often as I like, but um, just having started here and then moving to different cities, you meet other handball players and there's different codes of handball. And so that's been really nice knowing that if I go here to the handball community, I can still try to fit in somewhere. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've played pro tournaments for a little over 20 years and it's kind of like, you know, uh, transition to the next players, and it's kind of just nice to come back here and play some more, like, you know, another time, and, um, yeah, I did it for a long time, and I feel like I'm feeling pretty good about transitioning out of it, but still being involved, you know, it's just to support a tournament, to, you know, hang out and see friends, things like that. So, uh, you moved out from here? Um, yes, I, um, Used to live, so I'm born and raised in New York City, in Brooklyn, New York. And when I was 31, I moved to Tucson, Arizona. Oh, nice. So, but before that, um, my family and I moved to Coney Island when I was 14. And so I lived here from 14 to about 31 when I moved away to Arizona. Yeah. Well, how do you feel the difference in Humble? Um, From when I left and came back, like from when I'm here in like, California. Oh. Oh, it was, it's different, like, in a lot of ways. Like, for instance, one wall is really concentrated here. And then in Arizona and um, California, there aren't a lot of places to play one wall. There are some one wall courts, but the majority of the courts out there are four wall or three wall. So you just learn how to play four wall and three wall just playing. But it's, it's definitely a change from growing up and playing only one wall for most of the time. Uh, can we talk about the women in sport and uh, what can be done about the handball and uh, all together, you know? Um, for like, I guess, increasing participation and getting more women interested. Um, I think, you know, I think there's a lot of opportunities to improve women's handball. I think uh, uh, women know about it and it can be included, um, whether it's like exercise at the gym, like the curriculum or even introducing it in schools. I mean, a lot of the kids and the, the people that grow up here know about handball, but they don't know that there's tournaments, that there's a community, that there's a coordination. So, I mean, I think with women, even for me being a pro woman, um, a lot of what has kept me in, aside from like one to win, women, you know? Um, and so, I think the powers that be want to try to engage women in a way of like, well, if you're the tournament, you should just come join but women need to be engaged differently, you know, um, and 
I think if they would understand that if we felt more included, if we felt more part of of a driving, you know, of, of a reason why we're also a driving force of the men, then I think there's some changes. So I feel like the changes need to come in the attitude and the perceptions, and then with the with the thought in mind of like, yeah, we could be doing more, and let's try to do more, and let's listen to the players that are playing, but also be aware that you know we have to take different approaches and be willing to do it. And, and listen to the women, talk to the women, get our feedback, you know? I feel like a lot of that is left out of the conversation with the decisions we make. Is there anything else? Is there, is there anything else? Would you like to add to our conversation? Uh, I don't know, I feel like, I feel very blessed that um, I found handball, I mean, it found me. Um, I was playing since I was like six years old, but I didn't know about competition and organized tournaments and that sort of thing until so I was older. So I'm glad that it's been with me throughout most of my life and then that I can still be a part of it and it's still just as fun and somewhat exciting and just, you know, the love that's there. Just, I really appreciate that I was able to find it at you. When is your next tournament? Um, I'm thinking about going to the Three World Nationals, and that's the first weekend in September, it's the um, Labor Day weekend. So I haven't been to that tournament in a long time either, like I haven't been to this one, so it'd be kind of nice to go to this one and then follow up with that one and just kind of... Well, before I let you go, can you please tell me about this one? About this one here. This tournament. So yeah. this tournament, the One Wall um, Nationals, I think it was the 61st. Yes. And um, this one here, like you want to know like my results or my yes. feelings and thoughts and oh yeah, so in this one here I lost in the semifinals in the singles um, to Sandy Ng and then I lost in the doubles finals yesterday to Sandy Ng and her partner Danielle Daskalakis and Danielle won the singles beating Sandy so Danielle's <laughs> You heard me. <laughs> so, torch is officially passed. Um, sorry, what you want? You got the medals, right? You have the medals. Uh, yeah, we got the medals. Um, unfortunately, I don't have it on me today. We do get medals. I think um, the doubles, right? Say it again? You won the doubles. Yeah, no, no, we came in second in the doubles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So second place in the doubles. First place was Sandy Ng and Danielle Daskalak. Uh, happy to see you here and uh, we'll look forward to see you back again. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thank yeah. you, please. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks a lot.